Hello, this is Mark with BedBugSupply.com. I'll tell you, I'll be showing you how to use a steamer to treat a sofa. Um, basically, there's a lot of cracks and crevices uh, when you have a sofa. What we'll probably do first is uh, remove one of the cushions here. As you can see along here, places where bed bugs can be residing, we're going to take, we have two different attachments here. One is more of a triangular attachment, or you can use the hammerhead attachment depending on the model. Or you can use the, um, the single nozzle jet, which we have right here. It's basically one nozzle jet. We took a uh, microfiber toweling to break up the pressure, reduce the steam pressure coming out to build up the temperature as we're doing a treatment. So, for example, back in this corner over here is a great place for bed bugs to reside and hide. We're going to take the, um, the crack and crevice tool, go along the edges here. Go about maybe one inch per second as you do the treatment. Move very, very slowly. It'll fill in all the cracks and crevices. Work your way all the way around the couch. Hit every single crevice you can think of where bed bugs might be. It could be along the folds here behind the sofa, lift up behind here, it could be along here, for example. Pretty much anything you can think of where bed bugs might be. If you want to actually steam the flat surface of the, of the uh, sofa, you can use this attachment here, which is your, your um, hammerhead attachment or your triangular brush, depending on your steamer. Okay, for demonstration purposes, I'm not going to take this apart, but uh, if you actually had bed bugs in this sofa, what you'd want to do is take off the staples that hold on the dust cover down below here. That way you can get inside the sofa. There's so many cracks and crevices. You can't just allow this area to be uh, non-treated. So you basically take off the staples here, treat the inside of the sofa. We normally recommend a, a residual uh, insecticide after steaming, such as um, Bedlam Plus on our website. It also comes in our kit. You put the chemicals in the cracks and crevices, areas that do not come into contact with your skin. Always read the label and the MSDS for proper usage. But you would steam first and then put the residual inside the sofa. Make sure you get everything. Once you're done treating the sofa with the residual and the uh, steam, steam comes first, residual second, you would take the climb up interceptors, the little trays or dishes that come on the legs of your bed, you would put them onto each leg of your sofa. That way if they try to reinfest the sofa, they'll get caught in the pitfall along the interceptors. Uh, this completes basically how to treat the sofa. Any questions you have, give us a call at bedbugsupply.com.